No Time to Die is playing on the big screen, and our agent Tom Pizzotto joined agent Vicky Hodges in England to see the movie. Hi, this is Dan Silvestri of SpyMovieNavigator.com. Tom and Vicky have sent in their No Spoilers report on their viewing of No Time to Die. So, we will cut to that, then a clip from the brilliant David Zaritsky of The Bond Experience, then Tom and Vicky interview other theater goers as they exit the movie for their real live reactions, then we hear from Mike Reyes, the Bond expert and fabulous writer at CinemaBlend.com. So sit back and relax and enjoy this No Spoilers Reaction podcast to No Time to Die. Right, so this is Tom Pizzotto and Vicki Hodges, and we've just seen No Time to Die. We're in a restaurant, and we're going to record this podcast at the same time. while well, the movie's still very, very fresh in our mind, and we're going to do this No Spoilers. And there are spoilers that we could give you. But we are not going to give you any in this podcast. We want to talk about our reactions, what we thought of the movie, we thought about the actors and actresses, anything but the plot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Vicky, overall, I think that uh, No Time to Die is a return to form for Bond. I think this film may be classed highly in rankings, maybe in the future. It certainly needs a few viewings. I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, great action, mm -hmm. great characterisation and uh, of, of characters, and nice to see characters that we know return. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Didn't feel like two hours, 40 minutes at all. No, it's kind of like when they did On Her Majesty's. Uh, uh, Broccoli was really, Cubby was really concerned about the length of it, and they showed it to one of the big buyers, and they said, "What did you think of the length?" He goes, "Well, was it an hour and a half?" Because <laughs> it, it moves, and this one moved. I didn't, I didn't sit there looking at my watch at any point, and I didn't go think, "Oh, this feels like it's going really long for me." It certainly feels like a film of sections. You could almost break it into sections of yes. film. Yes. It, that's very prominent, I feel, in this film. They're telling different parts of the yes. story along the way. Yes. Yeah. Um, but okay. just. So let's talk a little bit about some of the actors and actresses that were in it. <laughs> right. Well. Um, because this isn't spoiler. That that list has been out. Yes. Um, of course, we've got the return of um, Madeline Swan, played by Lisa Sado. Yeah has a lot more to do in this film but I'm still personally I'm still not overly struck on the character mm -hmm. um, I think I'm very much in the mode of Bond should have been with Vespa I yeah. think that, that sort of connection well, but, <laughs> but but yeah so um, but she has has a lot more to do and she is better than she was in Spectre she's more developed in this yes in this movie. Um, Anna de Amas only has about, what, 10 minutes screen time, something like that, and she absolutely blew it out of the water. Was, no, no, part of that was the part she got, but <laughs> she did it very, she, very well. She was really, really, yeah. and she'll be, um, I think she'll be a very memorable. Yes, I would, I would agree with you. There. Second Bond girl as such yeah. in the, in the yeah. film, so yeah, definitely. Um, well, what about um, Lashana? Lashana, Lashana Lynch um, had a lot of... She played Nomi. Yes, a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? Fe negative feedback when she was cast. Right. Oh, yeah, she, she's 007. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she was absolutely brilliant, and it was so well done how they put her and Bond side by side because they worked as a bit of a spar. Yeah. There was a good sparring match between them. Yes. Um really liked the character. I thought mm -hmm. she, she worked really, really well yeah. to the plot. And, and I thought it was played well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't can't yeah. fault can't fault her. Yeah, there was a little rosy there was a little Rosie Carver feeling with Rosie both Carver. of them yes. actually. Rosie <laughs> yes. Yeah. From Live and Let Die. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, that's great. Um, great comedic element from from you'll tell me the name of the actor who plays it he, he plays Voldo. Yes. Who is a scientist? It's David, and I, I apologize, David. It's either Densik or Densik. I'm not sure which. He's from Sweden. Yeah, he he <laughs> provides a lot of comic relief for the film. Yes, he yeah, was good character. He was a very good comic relief, and he was, and he did. You know, I'm like, okay, I don't know this person. No, but, but no, he'll be quite a memorable character in the yeah. future. Yeah. I, I think down the line. Okay. 
Um, you've also got Billy Magnuson, who yes. plays Logan Ash. Yes. Um, normally known for doing musicals. So I've seen him in mm-hmm. Aladdin and uh, Into the Woods. Mm-hmm. Um, again, plays a very... He's well cast for the part. Yes. I'm not going to say too much about his character, but... Right. He, 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 he does it well. He yeah. does it well. And it was, yeah, that was good casting. Yeah, yeah, good casting there. Um, okay. so we got. Those are, those are the main newer characters that I can think of that were. Yes. Um, that we would that we would know. Um, I'm looking at the list here, so sorry. Oh, Rami. Oh, yes, Rami of course. Malik. <laughs> yes, so, so, yes, of course. Okay. Rami Malik was the one aspect of this film that I was really waiting to see. Mm-hmm. There's been, again, a lot of hype as to whether this character... Where, where are they going with this character? Is it a character from the past that we've seen before? Um, he plays it very understated. Yes. And it works extremely yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's lots of throwbacks to other things with his character. Right. But, so I'm not going to go into that, but right. it, it will become obvious to those who... Yes. Well, and that's, that's actually one of the things for me when I was watching this was you could tell they were trying to pay homage to many, and they may have ticked them all off, I don't know, yeah. of, of the Bond, the prior Bond movies. Yes. This is one that when we do a breakdown of this and talk about influences, I think we're going to have to spend a lot of time on that. Um, there is, without really giving anything away, there's a lot of Dr. No references. On Her Majesty's Secret Service, I said I thought there was a nod, a nod to uh, uh, Rosie Carver. Yeah, um, it was it's all sorts. Yeah, and even the music, pulling back from the different movies. So, yeah. when, like you said, this is I bet I'm, I bet I watched this thing and ten times before I do the next podcast. It, it, it's it's done differently. If we think back to Die Another Day, where we had the sort of the nostalgic. Um, gadgets from the past and it right. was done in a very co- a comedic way it's not like that it's right. done very classy yes uh, and it's very subtle yes and there's a big difference there yes well and, and but and it's also not just called out in your face because I mean, remember bond is supposed to be a reboot or daniel craig's bond was a reboot all that other stuff may not have ever happened well this is true <laughs> or we don't know when point we're in, in time. the timeline yeah. yeah so it was nice the way they did that because it wasn't in your face mm. and for those of you who love Ken Adams sets in the earlier Bond movies, uh, there's a lot in this that feels like a Ken Adams set. The whole thing doesn't, but there's a lot that does. Um, very much for me, I believe this film has lots and lots of vehicles mm-hmm. of all different types. Yes. So if you're really into Bond vehicles, this is definitely the film for you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, and the things that they do with the vehicles, mm-hmm. some great action scenes. Yes. Um, yeah, just 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 well, just so well done. Because it's when you think about it, there's a lot of Bond films, a lot of other films similar to Bond. Mm-hmm. They've always got to look for something different to do. Right. And they have done here again. They did a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So let's see. So we've talked about the. Let's see, you have to talk about Bond girls. Talk about gadgets. There really weren't that many gadgets. There was only his watch, wasn't there? The, the watch, the, the watch. car, I've got the gadgets on it. Yeah. But, um, there weren't. This was not a gadgety film. No, but I, no, but I didn't feel. I didn't like with Quantum, with Quantum of Solace. I felt I missed all the gadgets. Missed mm-hmm. out on that. that right. And. Uh, I don't feel that we did. I didn't feel it yeah. was missing. Right. Well, that's, I that's, mean, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's two, two hours and 43 minutes, pretty much of action. Mm. So you don't need the gadgets that much. Yeah. Other yeah. than, I mean, well, actually, the villains have a gadget that they use that um, comes in handy. Mm. Um, and then, you know, Bond has, has one thing with his watch. We won't give away what it is. Yeah. But. I would say if I was going to watch this movie from scratch again, I would definitely rewatch Majesties and rewatch Doctor No, because I think those were the two that I got the most callbacks to, yes. without them being the same plot. There are other things in there, little homages, I think, yeah. to uh, to other films, yeah. um, you know, and I, I think a, a number of watches will perhaps highlight, highlight more because yeah. there's so much to watch yeah. <laughs> and take in. You can easily miss things. Um, one of the other areas, it's just nice to see a return. 
I think back to form with with Bond's um, group, uh, MQ, yes. Money Penny, yes. um, Inspector. They were very much out on the field, and yes. I don't think they were used correctly. Whereas it was very much. Yeah, back, there was more back and particularly form. Money Penny for me. Yes, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, even even Q in this was more. Yes, yeah. You know, kind of had a. I mean, it's still Ben Wishaw's character of Q, but had a little bit more pulling back to the original Q yeah. type of things. I think. Yeah. So I was a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. So it's been six years. Was it worth the wait? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. I think so. It would have been better five year away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think it's been a good film for Daniel to end his tenure. Yes, I would agree with you there. Yeah. They've, Cause, they've tied up the end, yeah, the loose ends that needed yeah. tying up. Well, like I said to you after, after the movie, I said, you know, the whole Daniel, Daniel Leia Sadu relationship, I always kind of was a little awkward with. Because he's, I don't even know how much older he is. But I think the gap in age showed more in this movie. Yeah, he did look a lot older. Yeah. But he, uh, it's quite, yeah. it's quite now, noticeable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and is that, is that him? Is that, he seems to have lost some weight. Um, and, and I was noticing that in the neck. It, or is it makeup to try to make him look older because he's coming out of retirement? One thing that always strikes me when I'm watching Daniel Craig on the screen is how much he's like Steve McQueen. Yeah. And I'm sure they do this on purpose, particularly, I know in Quantum of Solace he was very much with a motorbike and, yes. and the outfit he'd got on. And I, I felt the same in this film mm -hmm. at times. There was, I felt there was like a little bit of homage to Steve McQueen again. Just went down that route, you know. It's if, if that's somebody you can be compared to, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he'd be perfect for doing a yeah. Steve McQueen biopic. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So the women, the cars, the soundtrack. Um, anything else about the soundtrack? You really? We didn't, we didn't we, we spoke about the soundtrack. No, I, me I mentioned that there's some some callbacks to some of the other movies, but um, why don't you talk about the soundtrack? The soundtrack. You either like it or you don't. Um, mm -hmm. I think it fits very well with the tone of the film. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the actual title sequence that, we, that we're that used to, uh, as, the, as the music's playing, mm -hmm. it's some interesting images yes. within that yeah. to, to explore. Right. Um, and it's always interesting to see how they link that with the, with the, with the music. Yep. So yeah, I, th I think it fits really well with the with the film. I don't think it'll be a classic for me, yeah. but I, I, would, I like I, it, I like it in the context of the and, film. And I think they either remixed it or re-recorded from what they first put out. So if we remember back right at the beginning of the pandemic, they put out the mm -hmm. Billie Eilish thing, and I couldn't understand half the words. Now maybe they remixed it, maybe because I was watching it in the theater and I had theater sound. Yeah. But I could understand every word she sang this time. Um, which I appreciated because that was that was the thing that drove me the most crazy about the first recording. It was like I don't understand what she's saying, but here you absolutely could. At least I could. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Vicky, you and I did a quick fire podcast on Black Widow. Yes. And I mentioned that I did not stay till the end of the credits. I left when the credits started, and how big a mistake that was. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Any guidance for somebody coming to watch this movie? Stay till the end. <laughs> Stay through the credits. Stay through the credits Absolutely. right to the end. Yes. And, you have to. In the, in the theater we watched it in, every single person but us left. Mm -hmm. and every single person made a mistake. Yes. You know, they all left when the credits started. And that was just, you know, or they might have watched some of the cast come through and left. And that was a mistake. That's our the only thing we'll say about that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Anything else? It's hard to not do spoilers on this one. Yeah, because so, we can quite easily get into the... Yeah, we can get into trouble with the in, that. The in-depth stuff. So, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, now I think we've our initial reaction to this, I think we've covered the, the, big, the, the big, big guns there. Yeah, yeah. What the, one thing I would say is, in the trailers, some of the stunts in the trailers, it was nice to see... Because they're pretty cool stunts. It was nice to see them put in context of the movie. Mm. Instead of just being, oh, here's a cool stunt. Here's why it's there, and I thought that that worked really well. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. I think, we have, I think we've covered it. Okay. I think I think we've done a good job of doing a no spoilers first impression of the movie. 
where we really tried to do no spoilers here. So this has been, I'll let you finish drinking before I do that. <laughs> so this has been Tom Pizzotto. And Vicky Hodges. Of Spy Movie Navigator. We are so happy you joined us and we know you're going to love this movie. No time to die. <laughs> All right, let's hear now from the fabulous David Zaritsky of The Bond Experience. Again, no spoilers here. Hello, this is David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. I'm actually calling you from London, and I wanted to just reach out to the spy movie navigator to talk about, I don't know, maybe the new movie, No Time to Die. Seems like it's on everybody's lips. Uh, so saw it twice and did a quick review on my YouTube channel with it, but I thought I would leave a message here. I like it. It's uh, parts of it are growing on me that I may have had some issue with before, but quite frankly, I think in the long run, this is going to be one, even upon third and fourth viewing, that really connects with me. I think from an actor standpoint, this was an actor's movie. I mean, certainly it was Daniel Craig's movie, had his fingerprints all over it. But I thought Leia Sadu did an amazing job. I did not expect that. And I, I know that sounds negative against her, but just Inspector, I wasn't wowed. And in this movie, you know, her face, her emotions, everything comes through. I think the women were handled incredibly well. What I mean by that is the empowerment, you know, the badass moments weren't a club over my head. They were done incredibly well in the, in the plot, in the movie, and it forwarded along. Uh, not a lot of gadgets, but the watch was a nice highlight, not to spoil anything. And by the way, yeah, this comment is going to be spoiler free. I feel like I owe that to people. Um, car chases, superior to Spectre, really good, some of the best, and obviously the gunplay and hand-to-hand -hand combat, some of the best of the Daniel Craig era. Where I think things kind of laid a little bit flatter for me was Safin's why. You know, what was his motivation around that? I always look at the bad guy's motivation, and this one just didn't, I don't know, doesn't have the strength that I look for in a Bond film. So it's going to take some repeat viewings. I hope everybody's doing great out there. And uh, thanks for letting me have a voice here. Cheers. That was great, David. Thanks. And now Tom and Vicky are off to interview some of the No Time to Die theater goers to see what their reaction is. What's your name? Pida. Pida? Yes. Okay, and yours? Terry. Terry. All right. So overall, good movie. Yes. Oh, Should people fantastic. go to it if they're Bond fans? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Would yes. non-Bond fans like it? I, I'm a non-Bond fan. I'm a Bond. You're a non-Bond fan. And I am convinced today. You are convinced yes. today? I'm a Bond fan and I loved it. I loved okay. it. I loved it. How about any of the actors, any of the new ones? Anna de Armas, what did you think of her role? She was the one in Cuba with the black dress. Oh, she was amazing. Yeah, uh, she was okay. Oh, I, like okay. I one, think she was really one good. One amazing and one okay. Yeah, okay. I, enjoy, I enjoyed well, it. For the part that she had, she was good. Okay. Like, she was okay. Yeah, okay. She was okay. How about uh, Lashana Lynch, Nomi? The new agent? I think she was, I, she I didn't have as a major role, but yeah, she was in there and out, so I, I, I didn't really get a flavor okay. of what she could okay. add to the franchise. So. I'm right. feeling her, though. <laughs> I'm feeling her. Okay. Okay. Last question. Was it worth a six-year wait? Yes. 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 Okay. I don't, I'm not even James Bond fan. Okay. So yeah. I am. Well, yeah. thank you much thank for your you time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. First name? Shiminda. Shiminda. And yours? Vijay. 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 Okay. Really quick questions. When did you start watching Bond for the first time? I don't remember. Probably 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Maybe. I maybe. think it was more. Okay. More than 10 years, yeah. And did you like this movie compared to some of the other Bond movies? Yeah. It's very yeah. nice. Very yeah, nice I liked movie. It. You like this brilliant, one? Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Was it worth a six-year wait? Definitely, yes. <laughs> okay. And how about um, the music? Did you like the music in it? It's good. It could be better than this is. Okay. Yeah. All right. So a little mixed on the music. Yeah. How about the car chases and that kind of stuff? There wasn't that much, but what was really good. Okay. Same thoughts there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have some new actors appearing in this. Ana de Armas. She was the lady in Cuba with the black dress. What did you think of how she did that? She did brilliant. She did brilliant. Huh? Yeah. The same thing? It's very nice. See how more. <laughs> yes, understood. Uh, how about Rami Malek? Safin. Brilliant actor. Okay, he's a brilliant actor. How did he do in this role? <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good? Yeah. Very okay. good. All right. So all movies are best. Okay. Yeah. What did you think of Valdo, the scientist guy? He was kind of the comic relief. <laughs> um, he did good. Okay. He played very well. In that character. Okay. He did yeah. well. Okay, and then the last one will be Nomi, Lashana Lynch. Yeah. Which, would you um, think? Her? Forget what, don't say anything about what she did. <laughs> Talk about, did she do a good job in the role? Yeah, she was all right. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank so you. overall, you guys say yay on the movie? Yes. Yes. Right. Definitely. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time. I appreciate Thanks, it. Man. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for your names. First names. First name. Uh, Joshua. Joshua. Ben. Ben. Okay. When did you start watching Bond movies? I've watched them since I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've same here. My dad was really into them yeah. and whatnot. Okay. So. What's your favorite Bond film so far? Well, Before this one. Well, it, it, it depends really uh, on the actor. Okay. Uh, Sean Connery, obviously, Doctor Now. Yeah, okay. It's his first, the first yeah. Bond film. Mm -hmm. wow. um, George Lies and Me, I never done one. Mm -hmm. I didn't find Timothy Duncan good. Okay. If anything, Casino Royale is probably the best. Okay, you think in that? my opinion. And how about you? Uh, I do like Tomorrow Never Dies. Tomorrow Never Dies, uh, okay. But if I had to pick a modern one, I do like Casino Royale, but I do like Spectre a lot. Okay. Uh, I've probably watched Spectre 20 plus times. I do. Okay. I really enjoy it. Okay. But, so, uh, yeah. in this movie, no spoilers, right? We're, yeah. we're doing yeah. this. This movie doesn't open in the States for another week. So, we're going to put this out either tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And okay. so, I don't want any of the US-based yeah. yeah. fans to hear anything. That yeah. would be a spoiler. Okay. Let's talk about the soundtrack. What did you think of the soundtrack? Uh, I'm surprised it was Billie Eilish. Um, but well, is that you didn't like her in it, or you were surprised no, that that was her no. singing it? Uh, she, she, I'm surprised she, she, she was. She pulled actually, it off amazing. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. She pulled it off really well. The music okay. was better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. And how about not the, not just the title song, the rest of the soundtrack throughout? The, yeah, is it Hans Zimmer? Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I know he's done quite a lot of stuff. I'm sure he's done uh, a lot of DC work and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it suited the film okay. very well. Yeah. All right, so we had some new actors appear in this one. So we had Paloma, played by Ana de Armas, the one in the black dress. Yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. talk about her. She oh, pulled off her. She, what can I say? She pulled off. Can I say? Yeah, she pulled off her role amazing. You know, even yeah. though she's not in it, you yeah. know, for a prolonged period of time, but she pulled it off really yeah. well. Yeah, I, I, I agree with yeah, you there. Definitely. Rami Malek, the Saffin. Brilliant. Even when he was playing Freddie Mercury, he was every, brilliant. Every and film that he's in, he can pull it well, off. Yeah. And I liked it. it. was a very different portrayal from him, the other stuff I've seen of him. Yeah. yeah. It's, and it's, so I thought he pulled that off well. It's absolutely amazing. Like, he played a villain like no other. Yeah. And it was fantastic. Yeah. He suited the role a lot. And, you know, he's got really into character for it and everything like that. And he's, he's pulled it off really well. All right. How about Lashana Lynch, who played Nomi? On mixed reviews. Okay. On the performance or the character herself? The character itself. The, okay. the performance was brilliant. Okay. But I can't, in my opinion, I can't see a woman, James Bond kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the female agent, you're not yeah. quite there yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last question. It's been six years. Was it worth the wait? Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. 100%. All right. Guys, I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your Thank evening. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have your first name? Daniel. Daniel, and yours? Amy. Amy. How long have you been Bond fans? My entire life. <laughs> yes, entire life. Yes. Okay. What's your favorite Bond film, if you have one, other than the one you saw tonight? Goldeneye. Casino Royale. Okay. What did you think of the soundtrack? Not just the title song, but the soundtrack in general. I thought it was pretty good, yeah. It's very Bond-esque, uh -huh. um, in keeping with the, the other Daniel Craig films that we've had. Very bold, very loud, in your face. But also quite subtle and throwbacks to the old films as well, which is pretty good. Okay. There wasn't a ton of car chases, but the ones that were there, what'd you think of them? Really good. Yeah, yeah. really, really excellent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think obviously because in the trailer you see that the the DB5 is back, which is always nice to see as a Bond yeah. fan. So yeah, can't complain about that either. Okay. And in terms of the actors that were here, we have a few new actors in this that we haven't seen in a Bond film. We'll start with Rami playing Safin. Comments on Rami? Really creepy. <laughs> really, really creepy. Bit of a weird one. Yeah, um, in a good way? I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he really is like Bond villain esque. Yeah. Um, Plays it very well. Yeah, he does, yeah. Okay. We had uh, Ana de Armas, who played Paloma, who was the lady in black in Cuba. Yeah, she was brilliant. Yeah, yeah for, for a good. short time that she was in, she was really good, yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay. What about the one I've gotten the most mixed reaction on is Nomi, Lashana Lynch's character. Mm -hmm. In terms of both the character herself, we all know she's an agent. Yep. Don't give anything away. But the character versus the actress, is there any... Because some people are telling me they liked her performance but didn't like the character. Yeah. Um, I think most people all know her from Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Very different to that. 
very, very different side of her, complete different look, uh -huh. different way she portrays herself. Um, I thought she was good. I thought the character will probably need a bit of fleshing out maybe down the line if she comes back. But yeah, no, no real complaints with the way she is in the film. I think it carries along well and the camaraderie with Bond later on is, is really good. Yeah, I think, I think the same really. I think she was... Um very good for what well, very different so you've just got to get used to the fact that it's very different to what you've seen previously okay there was a character in there named Valdo who was the, the scientist guy mm -hmm. who kind of added some comic relief do you think that worked again not giving away the uh, plot uh, uh, <laughs> it's very hard um, a little bit a little bit you have to have but Bond's always been serious action with a pun or two thrown in or a funny moment that makes you break away from the shots being fired. Uh, I think he offers that reasonably well. Obviously, Daniel Craig drops a quip in or two, which is really good as well. Well, so, this yeah. movie needed a little of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little of lightheartedness. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit there. Okay. Not as much as maybe the later years of Pierce Brosnan. It's not yeah. that kind of right. film. It's not a die another day. Right. It probably is more of a golden eye where right. it's got a little bit of action followed by a quip and then a bit more action followed by a quip so yeah it comes across really well six year wait was it worth it yeah absolutely 100 yes. yeah. should people come see no time to die absolutely 100%, yeah okay. it's very good thank you very much for your time tonight no problem yeah. so first name wayne alan steve cameron favorite bond movie before tonight mine shot me age goldfinger okay I'm, there are a lot of people who tomorrow love that never movie. dies tomorrow never dies yes yeah, tomorrow yeah. never dies how about you i respect so. okay all right this is a little bit different movie than some of them. What did you guys think of the soundtrack overall, not just the title song? Well, again, I'm a bit biased because the uh, it's my favourite tune, the ending one, and he's only made with Lou Armstrong, okay. so okay. Know, it's always touchy to that. So, you, so you like that one, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. How about the, song, the rest of the movie soundtrack? Or the title song? I'd be surprised to think yeah. something like Ed Sheeran, something like that, to be honest. Yeah. Something like yeah. Okay. Yeah. Instead of a Billie Eilish? Could yeah. Yeah. Could yeah, yeah have an old soundtrack was very good. Okay. All right. What, so what, what do you think of the chase scenes in this one? Mm, th yeah, yeah. It's, I, think, I think I've seen better. You've seen better? I think I've seen better, yeah. Okay. And probably longer. Okay. Yeah. But still very, very good. Okay. I think that was a little bit more, if they're ever realistic, I think that was a little bit more realistic in this one. Okay. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like stuff hanging off a cliff and then yeah. suddenly I think yeah. it was a bit more realistic, okay. especially like in this sort of jungle sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's true. We have some new actors in this movie. And we'll start with we're new to the Bond world. Yeah. So we'll start with Rami playing Safin. What did you think of Safin as a character and the performance? He was the villain. He's the villain. Excellent. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, see him in uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, yes. he's brilliant. Yeah, he's, he's a, a very great. different character for him. Yes, he's, oh, he's, yeah. he's a great actor. Yeah. 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 Very believable. Yeah. 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 I thought yeah. all the characters were good. Yeah. What did you think of Lashana Lynch, who played Nomi, who was the other agent? I'm not going to say more because this is no spoiler. But in trailers, we know there's another agent that's Nomi, uh, Lashana Lynch. Yeah, I was impressed with that. Yeah, 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 yeah it's good, good, really good. good twist that was. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it's good. Right. Yeah. Ana de Armas played Paloma, the lady in the black dress in Cuba. What did you think of that? Oh, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, Fast and Furious, she yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, not the longest scene in the world. No, 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 no should have been. been longer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay. Any other people, that, any other roles that I haven't mentioned that you liked, with one exception? There's one. If you say who the person is, it would be a big spoiler. So oh, don't right, go, okay, don't no, go there, okay, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. But any other characters you want to call out as you liked? Um, Q's good. Yeah, yeah. Like Q's yeah. good. Yeah, he's always good. Yeah, he's, the, um, I thought he was quite quirky. He's one of the. Um, the, the scientist. The scientist. Bob, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I thought he was. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. You like it? Okay. Good. That's a good. Call yeah. Out there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Quite comical there. Is it? Yeah. A little bit. A bit more comical. But... Right. And I think I think Money Penny's a good twist as well. Now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They twisted her character a little this yeah. time, and I like that. Yeah. yeah. So the last the last question is really a two part question. You can answer it with one word if you want. Was it worth the wait? And should other people come and see No Time to Die? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, so, you know, I haven't had anybody today on opening day, shockingly, say, no, don't come to this movie. So that's good. All right, I appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. All right, we're here with Colin. We just saw No Time to Die. Colin, why don't you introduce yourself? You're from this area? Yes, I'm from this area, yes. Okay, uh, in, we're in Wolverhampton. We're, we're in uh, Wolverhampton, okay. in uh, the West Midlands in England. Okay. And you just saw No Time to Die. Correct, yes. And what were your thoughts? Overall Excellent thoughts? film, excellent film. Yeah. Although it's nearly three hours long, mm -hmm. it keeps your interest all the way through. Mm -hmm. 
characterizations are great. Daniel Craig, brilliant. Okay. What did you think some of the new characters like the Safin or um, Paloma? They're, they're all good. Okay. They're all extremely well cast. Mm -hmm. Carried their parts off beautifully. Mm -hmm. And it was just an excellent film. Yeah. And you like the action they showed you? The action was superb, non-stop. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will be um, considered one of the best Bond films? Wouldn't surprise me in the least. I think Daniel Craig is the best Bond that mm -hmm. we've had anyway. And yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if this one is considered his best. And when did you start being a Bond fan? Oh, decades ago. Decades, <laughs> decades ago. I've, I've seen them since Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. And, well, before that, actually, the books and uh -huh. what have you. Awesome. So I've followed it for many years. Okay. So anything in terms of any of the chase, you know, it's a Bond movie, there's car chases. What did you think of the car chases we saw? Excellently executed. Mm -hmm. um, you can't fault them, you can't mm -hmm. fault them. Uh, the whole thing, the, um, the, the effects, mm -hmm. um, just absolutely brilliant. Now, because of the delays, they had to do a lot of different trailers for this movie to keep the interest going. Did they give too much away in the trailers for you? Well, I can't really say that one because I tend to stay away from the trailers okay. because I don't want to detract from when I go and see the film. Mm -hmm. okay. I wanted to experience it firsthand right. and then make my own mind up instead of, as what happens with trailers, mm -hmm. they do tend to give too much away and tend to spoil the film a bit. They just show the best bits uh, or what they consider to be the best bits. Um, and to me, if you watch too many of the trailers and take them on board, mm -hmm. it spoils the enjoyment of the film. For me, it does anyway. Can I just ask, the, um, the theme song has divided opinion amongst the Bond fans. What's your thoughts? Did you think that it fit with the film or do you, you yeah, know, I think the Billie Eilish song? Yeah? I think it does and I think it's um, good that they've got a youngster like Billie Eilish doing it as well. And she's a great songwriter as well. She's done loads of good stuff, released good albums, nothing wrong with it at all. Okay, so one last question. It's been six years, was it worth it? Yeah, certainly was. Okay, certainly right. was. You won't be disappointed. All right, Colin, thank you so much for your time. Thank I appreciate you, it. Yeah. You okay. Can I have your name? Jonathan. You just went and saw No Time to Die. What did you think? This you had a big picture. This, no spoilers. This is a good film. Uh-huh. It's really good, yeah. Yeah. Did you like the any of the new actors we saw? Yeah, yeah, that's new yeah, actors are quite good, yeah. Okay. What did you think of Ana de Armas' role, the role of Paloma in Cuba? The lady with the black yeah. dress in Cuba. What did yeah, you think of that? Yeah, that was quite good, that was, yeah. That was, okay. Was was there any any of the action, any of the chases or anything that you liked that particularly well? The chase scene in Italy was quite good. Uh-huh, it was? Okay. Yeah, what did you like good. about it? Well, you got the um, old Aston Martin, uh -huh. which which has been in the bathroom for years. Uh -huh. That was okay. quite good. Okay, good. And the character of Nomi, who was Lashana Lynch, uh, new character, uh, new agent, what did you think of her? Yeah, she was quite good. Yeah, you liked her too? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, last question. It's been six years. Was it worth the six-year wait? Yeah, it was. And you, re you recommend people see it? I do, yes. So thank you so much for your time, Jonathan. Appreciate it. All right, we're here with Colin. We just saw No Time to Die. Colin, why don't you introduce yourself? You're from this area? Yes, I'm from this area, yes. Okay, uh, we're in, in Wolverhampton. We're, we're in uh, Wolverhampton, okay. in uh, the West Midlands in England. Okay. And you just saw No Time to Die. Correct, yes. And what were your thoughts? Overall Excellent thoughts. film, excellent film. Yeah. Although it's nearly three hours long, mm -hmm. it keeps your interest all the way through. Mm -hmm. Characterizations are great. Mm -hmm. Daniel Craig, brilliant. Okay. What did you think some of the new characters like... The Safin or um, Paloma? They're, they're all good. Okay. They're all extremely well cast. Mm -hmm. Carried their parts off beautifully. Mm -hmm. And it was just an excellent film. Yeah. And you like the action they showed you? The action was superb, non stop. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will be um, considered one of the best Bond films? Wouldn't surprise me in the least. I think Daniel Craig is the best Bond mm -hmm. that we've had anyway. And yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if this one is considered his best. And when did you start being a Bond fan? Oh, decades ago. Decades, <laughs> decades ago. I've, I've seen them since Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. And, 
well, before that actually, the books and uh -huh. what have you. Awesome. So I've followed it for many years. Okay. So anything in terms of any of the chase, you know, it's a Bond movie, there's car chases. What did you think of the car chases we saw? Excellently executed. Mm -hmm. um, you can't fault them. You can't mm -hmm. fault them. Uh, the whole thing, the, um, the, the effects, mm -hmm. um, just absolutely brilliant. Now, because of the delays, they had to do a lot of different trailers for this movie to keep the interest going. Did they give too much away in the trailers for you? Well, I can't really say that one because I, I tend to stay away from the trailers okay. because I don't want to uh, detract from when mm -hmm. I go and see the film. Mm -hmm. okay. I wanted to experience it firsthand right. and then make my own mind up instead of, as what happens with trailers, mm -hmm. they do tend to give too much away right. and tend to spoil the film a bit. They just show the best bits yeah. uh, or what they consider to be the best bits. Um, and to me, if you watch too many of the trailers and take them on board, mm -hmm. it spoils the enjoyment of the film. For me, it does anyway. Can I just ask, the, um, the theme song has divided opinion amongst the Bond fans. What's your thoughts? Did you think that it fit with the film or do you, you yeah, know, I think the Billie Eilish song? Yeah? I think it does and I think it's um, good that they've got a youngster like Billie Eilish mm -hmm. doing it as well. And she's a great songwriter as well. She's done loads of good stuff, released good albums, nothing wrong with it at all. Okay, so one last question. It's been six years, was it worth it? Yeah, certainly was. Okay, certainly right. was. You won't be disappointed. All right, Colin, thank you so much for your time. Thank I appreciate you, it. Yeah. Okay. Can I have your name? Jonathan. You just went and saw No Time to Die. What did you think? This Had a big picture. Yes. No spoilers. This is a good film. Uh-huh. It's really good, yeah. Yeah. Did you like the any of the new actors we saw? Yeah, yeah, the access, new actors are quite good, yeah. Okay. What did you think of Ana de Armas' role, the role of Paloma in Cuba? The lady with the black yeah. dress in Cuba. What yeah, did you think of that? Yeah, that was quite good, that was, yeah. That was? Okay. Was, was there any, any of the action, any of the chases or anything that you liked that particularly well? The chase in Italy was quite good. Uh-huh, it was? Okay. Yeah, what did you good. like about it? Well, well you got the um, old Aston Martin, uh -huh. which was which has been in the bathroom for years. Uh -huh. That was okay. quite good. Okay, good. And the character of Nomi, who was Lashana Lynch, yeah. uh, new character, uh, new agent, what did you think of her? Yeah, she was quite good. Yeah, you liked her too? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, last question. It's been six years. Was it worth the six-year wait? Yeah, it was. And you, re you recommend people see it? I do, yes. So thank you so much for your time, Jonathan. Appreciate it. Now let's hear from the Bond expert at CinemaBlend.com, Mike Reyes, with his no-spoiler thoughts on No Time to Die. Hello, Spy Movie Navigator fans. This is Mike Reyes from CinemaBlend.com, uh, and I have been invited to share my non-spoiler thoughts on No Time to Die. What can you really say about this movie? It is Daniel Craig's fifth and final entry in his James Bond legacy. Uh, there's been an overarching story that we've been working with since Casino Royale and while it's definitely had ups and downs, I still think, uh, I agree with another friend of mine who actually said this, this has been the most consistent arc we've seen from an actor in the James Bond series. And who better to give it to than Craig, who has been basically going through his own serialized arc leading up to K director Kerry Joji Fukunaga's final chapter. We've been waiting for almost two years for this movie, and... I have to say, this is the best possible ending Daniel Craig could have gotten. Uh, the the places that this film goes are both nods to the classic franchise. Uh, one film in particular gets a lot of play uh, in there, and it's uh, the underrated Honor Majesty Secret Service. And there's also a lot of uh, Roger Moore-style one-liners, which Daniel Craig just looks so comfortable delivering and it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. But then there's also newer developments that definitely push No Time to Die into virgin territory, so to speak. Uh, we see Bond and Madeline's romance become a central part of this story. And another really surprising thing is, while Rami Malek Safin is definitely a James Bond villain and definitely a chilling presence, the film sort of feels more focused on James himself. And what's really interesting about that is 
the the conventional knowledge used to be James Bond hardly changes. The villains are really what sort of mix things up every time out, or the gadgets, or the car. But with this new arc, James Bond as a person has been able to grow and has been able to change. And there is a significant change in No Time to Die because, as everybody knows from the synopsis, uh, James is retired from active service after some incidents uh, after Spectre. And he's sort of getting back into the groove. And in a sense... Daniel Craig's been given a Never Say Never Again, but a better version of Never Say Never Again. It, it, which is really funny, considering Never Say Never Again was remaking Thunderball. Now it feels like No Time to Die has kind of pseudo-remade Never Say Never Again. But into this beautiful, emotional puzzle that fits squarely into a Bond film. And I am absolutely pleased that Daniel Craig got to close out his tenure with a film truly fitting of his caliber. He almost left after Spectre, and I'm glad he didn't because this is the biggest swing in the 007 universe. Again, invoking the classics, it's the biggest swing since Honor Majesty's Secret Service. And I'm going to miss Daniel Craig, but he went out with a bang. This is a, a film that is going to be very divisive, but at the same time... You know, you have people like Steven Soderbergh and, and, and Christopher Nolan praising it as, like, the best Bond film. And while I can't go that far just yet, because, you know, 60 years of history is something you really need to take a close look at, I have to say this is, this is a film that I keep thinking on and I keep decoding and I think it's going to be an all-timer. And for Bond fans, uh, we clearly have all the time in the world. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate it. Thanks for listening. This has been Dan Silvestri, along with the Tom Pizzotto and Vicki Hodges report from England, and our special guests, David Zariski and Mike Reyes. Go see No Time to Die now!